Hey guys, Corbin here. I designed this shallow flow bowl in Fusion 360 and developed a whole new way to do two-side machining. One way to do two-side machining is to create tabs around your workpiece and cut it out afterwards. This works best for things that are about an inch and a quarter tall. Any deeper than that and you start to deal with cutter height collisions or colliding with your collet. I'll talk a little bit more about this in the next video and how to solve and work around some of those issues. But let me focus on my new idea here. So my plan is to machine all the outside area on the bottom of the bowl first and then flip it over and do the inside. But the trick is how do I align it for that second operation? So I designed a small jig to do this. I modeled this up in Fusion 360, which is just the bottom shape of the bowl cut out of a three quarter inch piece of wood, or in this case, MDF. I could then drill some quarter inch holes in my jig to align it to a mini spoil board that I can use some dowels to mount it precisely onto the mini spoil board and attach that to my main CNC table. Notice the spacer in front of my workpiece. This is just a two inch piece of MDF to give it a slight offset so I have somewhere to clamp down on my main CNC table. So I've started holding down my work pieces with double sided tape. But there are some tricks to get a good hold with the tape. I cover my entire work piece with it and scrape it really down with a piece of wood before removing the backing. And that seems really important. I'm putting the tape on a piece of melamine, but I have also used MDF too. I've been trying melamine because I noticed that MDF would sometimes pull a little bit off each time I remove the tape and I want to reuse the jig again and again. However, I found that melamine does tend to pull up too, so you could probably use whichever one you want. Now the second trick to getting a good hold with double-sided tape is to squish it down with some clamps. I found that I will get pull up with some aggressive machining unless I actually go and do this. And this is one of the main reasons that I don't attach it directly to my main CNC spoil board because I need some way to add the clamp pressure. So I'm just using the clamps to get good adhesion. I clamp it down, and then as soon as I clamp it down, I immediately remove the clamps. I take my workpiece and the small spoil board over to my CNC table and clamp it down. The little black dogs give me a precise location for repeating this bowl again and again. The origin for the first machining operation is the bottom left corner of the stock. The Z needs to be accurately located but the X and Y doesn't have to be 100% spot on. I use a 3 8 of an inch spiral upcut bit to remove most of the waste and do a 3D adaptive clearing in Fusion 360. Then I go back and do a finishing pass with a quarter inch ball nose bit. I use four of my 3D printed clamps to attach the mini spoil board down to my main CNC table using the T-Track system. I remove the workpiece from my CNC table and use some small wedges to actually get it off. So this jig only has to be made once and then I can repeat this bowl project as many times as I want without having to make it again. I cut out a piece of MDF for the jig and a piece of melamine for my mini spoil board, but they could both be made out of the same material and it doesn't really matter. I don't have any video of me machining the jig, so here's the simulation in Fusion 360 and what I did. I first made the mini spoil board, drilling some holes entirely through the workpiece and also into my main CNC table spoil board. This will allow me to realign it precisely. I cut some quarter inch round steel dowels to about an inch and a half in length. Wood dowels would work too, but I found they get beat up after multiple uses and I wanted to make this bowl a bunch of times and the steel is just a lot more durable. I set the mini spoil board on some pieces of wood so I can more easily clamp it. I like to wipe down my workpiece and the spoil board with a little bit of acetone to get off any dust and oil. I use the jig as a template to mark the location on the board with a pencil. I cover that up with double sided tape and scrape it down really well before removing the backing. The steel alignment dowels can then be installed. And on the first use, it's good to chamfer the holes just a touch to prevent any blowout. I make sure they go a touch below the bottom mini spoil board as those will be used 
for alignment on the CNC table itself. The jig goes on the top of the dowels, but I space it a tiny bit away from the tape. I carefully set my workpiece into the jig and clamp it down. Clamping is essential to get good adhesion with the double sided tape, but I can remove the tape right away because I don't have to wait for any glue to cure. The spoil board holes now align with the jig perfectly to get me precise alignment. I use four of my 3D printed clamps. These work really well and you can print some of your own at home. I'll drop a link in the description on where you can get the files. I machine the inside of the bowl using the same techniques as the outside. I use a 3 8 of an inch spiral upcut bit to get most of the waste out with the roughing operation. The upcut is essential to get the chips out of the bowl. I then follow up with a quarter inch ball nose bit for the finishing operation. Once everything was done, I could remove it from the table. I find it easiest to first pound out the dowels, and then I can use the wedges to separate the workpiece from the jig. Finishing is just sanding to remove the machining marks. I usually start with 150, remove most of the marks, and then follow up with 220. I prefer Osmo Top Oil for most of my bowls. It's food safe, super easy to apply. I just wipe some on, and then I wipe off the excess, let it dry about eight hours, and then I put on a total of three, maybe four coats, depending on the shine that I kind of want. So here it is. I made several different versions of this bowl using different woods, and this is how they came out. <music>